Hello, beautiful Aquarius, and welcome to your message. I hope that you guys are all doing good. Hope that you guys are all hanging in there with this crazy ass energy that we are all feeling and in at the moment. Um, it is intense, guys, right? So anyways, welcome, my loves. I'm Erica. I'm a psychic medium and a prophetess. Um, if you're new here, welcome, welcome. Those of you guys returning, welcome back, me loves. Okay, so I'm just trying to trying to shuffle my light sears deck um it's about time to invest in a new one but i love this one i've worked with it for so long it's hard it's like you know you feel guilty almost like you're abandoning it you know <laughs> all right we've had some we've had some good times together right okay so anyways loves um so that could actually be something um obviously like maybe for some of you guys about like maybe like leaving people behind or like disconnecting from people or things where you're like, you know, maybe you feel like you have some guilt around it um, or you feel like bad about it. You know what I mean? Um, you know, and just depending on right. The circumstances, the situation spirit is just like release that. Okay. Like, you know, we're not, not everyone is meant to come along for the journey. Not everyone is meant to come along for the ride. Right. Okay. Uh, this could also be like, you know, past stuff, right? That you, you've disconnected from a lot of people. Uh, you know, maybe you've been self-loving, right? I feel that very strongly. I feel like um, this rise of power, this rise in your frequency, okay? Um, I'm also getting that for some of you guys. You are really going through it right now. You're feeling it, you know what I mean? Like this, yeah. Um, so, you know, of course... Um, it's always darkest before the dawn, my loves, right? It's always darkest before the dawn. I'm also hearing, I thought that I healed this. I thought that I healed this. Or I thought that, you know, I was done with this stuff. Okay, so it's like last minute lessons is what I'm getting. So the universe has been sending in last minute lessons for you. Um, and that's because it's, it's preparation. It's preparing you for the real deal, for the good stuff, for the real stuff, right? Okay, here we go. So what do we got, Tara? What, what do we got for Aquarius today? The Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands. Let's get one more. What else for Aquarius? Two of Pentacles. All right. Let's get, let's get one more. Let's do three. Knight of Cups. All right. Interesting how it kind of came out like kind of sideways, you know, like not really, like, it was just like kind of tilted, right? Um, so for some of you guys, uh, this could be you or someone maybe that you've connected to, but it feels like with the Knight of Cups, Knight of, it's like, there's someone here, um, it's communication, but it's like, it's someone who's been going back and forth about a lot of stuff, like maybe what to say, how to approach the situation or to approach maybe you or vice versa. Um, I'm also getting for some of you guys, you could, uh, you could be being tested, with people, show, don't mind my, don't, I didn't paint my nails. Um, it, you might be being tested or there could be, again, last minute lessons. So there could be people coming into your life that are literally, the universe is bringing them in just to see if you will fall into the trap or just to see if you've truly learned the lesson. Again, because these are night, you know, these are nights, like, right? Like we're, we're wanting a king. We're wanting a, a queen. A, you know what I mean? Like not the night. Okay. Um, some of you guys might actually be like, maybe you've met like people or you're about to, there could be like a, I don't, you know, I just don't know which way to go kind of thing. Like, so maybe you're like juggling like two people at once, not like in a player type of way, but like, just, you know, I like them both and they're real, you know, I just don't know. Right. Okay. So take what's for you. I'm also getting that there is, um, with the Knight of Cups, it's great admiration. With the Knight of Wands in this deck, I love this one because it's like she's just like having fun living her best life. Like she's present, she's in the moment, she's right, she's got her drum. This could be like sound healing or drumming. Uh, maybe you're like getting more into that or maybe you need to work with sound. Do some, you know, dancing, movement, you know, working with rattles and shakers and drums or, you know, hand pans or whatever, okay? Um, but there is some great love here. There's some great love here. So I don't know if you already know who this is or if this is like someone new. Okay, let's keep going. All right, 
I'm also getting Aquarius that you guys, you guys have been busy. All right. You've had a lot going on and you need time to rest, to rejuvenate, have fun. Maybe, maybe you've been doing like the adulting and it's just like adulting, adulting, adulting. And it's like, where is the fun? Your inner child wants to have fun and play and dance and, you know, play drums. I don't know. Some of you guys might be being very called to the water right now, to the beach, to the ocean, uh, to the lake or, you know, the river, but I'm getting like the beach. Water is medicine, holds very beautiful, sacred healing codes. Okay, so let's keep going. All right, so tell me more about the Knight of Wands. There's that Five of Swords I showed. Okay. Some of you guys could be releasing someone who you're just like, red flag, uh-uh, no, I can't, uh-uh, no. Again, I'm not dealing with a knight. I'm, I'm waiting for a king or a queen. So anyone who, uh, you know, makes you feel like this, okay, it's like they got to go. They got to go. I know, sometimes it's easier said than done, but it's just what's coming through. Um, also, the... Five of Swords is like self-sabotage, okay? It's like self-sabotage in a lot of ways. It's like, you know, I made choices in the past and I realized that I made the wrong choices, right? But is there really such a thing as the wrong choice or is it just a lesson, right? It's a learning experience. It's an opportunity to heal, to learn, to grow. Devil showing up, Capricorn. Yeah, I there's, and look at the coloring here, right? Like. Okay, so these these go together. I'm telling so it, whatever this so it's like you need to have fun. You need to like really enjoy yourself and be more present with that. Um, and any of these devil energies, people again that make you feel like this. Okay, like they gotta go. See those see those see those cords that the devil's holding. He's got like a he's the pup he's the puppeteer with the puppet. Okay, we are nobody's puppet right? We, we are nobody's puppet. We are the puppeteer, right? We, we do the things we want to do, right? Okay. So another thing that I'm getting is, um, for some of you guys, there could be someone who sees you living your best life from your past and they are like, what did I do? Like I had the best thing I could ever possibly want or, or have, but I was in my ego, but I was codependent, but I showed the toxic side, like whatever it is. Okay. I'm just getting like deep regret. Okay. So tell me about the two of pentacles, please for Aquarius. Also, you guys, there's, there's a balancing that needs, it's like alignment. Okay. There's like balancing within the chakras. So working with the root chakra, it's like, it's like crown root. Okay. So, um, you could also be, uh, it's like, Right now we're receiving so many uh like light codes right solar flares from the sun okay things like that right and it's all coming through our crown chakra so what i'm getting is like needing to ground like literally like she's sitting on the ground here right um working with that root chakra energy okay there could be some shadow work here too where it's like sit down with a pen and paper or just meditate on it you know like what in your reality, what inside of you, what in your life, like what trauma wounds, like what do you fear? Where do you feel in state, like unstable? Where do you feel instability? What do you fear? Do you have fear around money? Do you have fear around success? Do you have fear around finances, right? Do you, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. So maybe for some of you guys, it, that's, that's some spiritual guidance for, for some shadow work here. Okay, I'm hearing that song by Eminem and, and Rihanna or whatever that came out like a while, like a long time ago. It's, um, lo I love, like, love the way you lie. You know that song, love the way you lie. Okay, so again, like, take it how it connects for you. But, um, I feel like that's what's happening here. I feel like people are showing their true colors or you're like, you've seen someone's true colors and you're like, you gotta go. Or it's like, you gotta detach, but maybe it's difficult. Okay. Like, you know, it's like, I keep getting the example of a cheat, like someone who cheats, someone who lies and cheats, someone who juggles people, 
you know, they show up and love bomb you, you know, um, but this is their truth. This is their, this is who they really are. Okay. And I think that you're seeing that in a, in a lot of people, like you're seeing through the illusion. It's like, you, you can't gaslight me, dude. You can't gaslight me, buddy. It's like that. Okay. So Aquarius will yeah, see, this is a guest card here. Archangel Michael showing up being like, yep, exactly. So you're seeing things, see the crown, see the light. I just talked about the light that we're receiving in our crown. Very important that we, that we're doing grounding work right now, you guys, for all of us, right? Because, uh, you know, again, it's like, if we're like up in our higher chakras and there's all this energy up in the higher chakras and we're not like pulling it down, integrating it down, um, it can make you feel very out of it, very like just anxiety and just you can't focus and you're like all over the place with your thoughts and you know you you get easily distracted and you can't finish tasks and you know it's like you go to like you know clean your desk and then next thing you know you're in your bathroom doing something and then you're like over in the kitchen and then you know it's like that right okay so i'm not going to take the ace of swords i just wanted to to share it so okay so tell me about the two of pentacles knight of cups there's the king so this could be you, Aquarius. Like this is your energy, air energy, right? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. But I'm telling you, see, it's exactly what I said. Like we do not deal with the king. We do not deal with people who go back and forth. We do not people. We do not deal with people who who don't know. Like I don't know. Blah, 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 right? Like no. We want someone who is solid. Someone who is honorable, truthful. Someone who communicates clearly. And da 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 da. da right? There he is. I knew it. I. I that's why I kept saying the king queen reference. Okay. So this is what I feel is coming in for you. I feel like that there is a high frequency person coming forth. Okay. But I also feel for some of you guys, this is someone from the past. I, I keep seeing the six of cups in my mind's eye, which is like past life soulmate energy or from the past or nostalgia, things like that. Um, oh, look what showed up on the bottom of the deck, right? As I'm channeling, uh, the six of cups, it's the lovers. Yeah. And Ooh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. So it's like out with this energy. You guys have been like leveling up. You have had a lot going on. You need to really take time for yourself because your inner receiving energy is what I'm, is what I'm picking up on here. So it's like, again, the universe last minute lessons, you're about to receive big, your, your jackpot is here. The will of fortune is turned in your favor. You know, before we bring in this king energy, okay, we need to make sure that you're no longer entertaining all of this. You know, have you truly learned the lesson? Have you truly healed the karma, right? Okay. Um, now the other message here with like, I keep getting the past person, it feels like someone leveled up. Feels like someone who is on the fence. It feels like someone who holds a lot of love towards you, secret admirer. They see you just like out there living your best life. So again, going back to, I don't know, I don't know. Like, again, I don't know how to approach. I don't know what to say because it's like this person respects the hell out of you. That's, that's basically it. Like this person sees that you are a baddie, man or woman, doesn't matter, you know, that you are, uh, you know, uh, you see things clearly, okay? You see things clearly, you can see through the th illusions and this person knows this about you, okay? So it's like they respect you, but like in a way they, they kind of fear it too because <laughs> they, right? It's like they, they feel like there's, they feel like you can see through them, okay? So it's like, it's not like they actually fear you, right? It's like, you get what I'm saying. It's like, ah, I, don't, I just, I've never dealt with this. I don't know how to approach this. It's like that. The lovers, yeah. Mm-hmm. This is the one. I'm hearing Etta James. At last, <laughs> my love has come along. Okay, I'm not even gonna try to sing that right now. Um, my lonely days are over, and life is like a song. Whoa, yeah, at last, right? The skies above are blue. Okay, so anyways, it's, I know I'm like joking and like, I, I'm not going to even right, like try to sing that song seriously right now. But, um, if that song means something to you, this is your confirmation. And if you've recently heard that song or now that you watch this, you probably will start hearing it or references to it, or you go on Instagram and boom, it's like on a reel, you know, um, someone's in love with you, Aquarius. 
Someone is in love with you. Tell me more about this Knight of Cups, King of Swords, and the Lovers, please, for Aquarius as we start to wrap up this message. There's going to be devil energies that pop up or things where it's like, right? And again, I'm telling you guys, it's last minute lessons because this is on the horizon or this is what's about to show up for you. Okay. Yeah, look, your nine cups, it's, it's wishes fulfilled. So again, the universe is like, okay, the wish fulfillment card is here. This is a nine. So it's like the end of a cycle here. So you're, you're closing out a cycle that is now bringing forth the cups, the nine cups. The wishes fulfilled. I just did a collective reading yesterday um, titled uh, like something you've been dreaming of for a very long time finally manifests into your into your life like your your 3d reality. This ties into that message so if you haven't seen it you might want to go watch it because there's a reason why I'm right bringing that up. This is your treasure chest. X marks the spot. Okay, this is your, this is your, the treasure that has been hidden, the treasure that has been, quote, like buried in the 5D or whatever. It's here. It's here. But you first, you had to close out this like big cycle in order to receive. Okay. Also, someone sees you as a wish fulfillment. They see you as the bee's knees. Like you're it. You are it. This card means you're it. You're it, baby. Death card. Yeah. Again. Death to the old cycles. Okay, this is a paradigm shift. New cycles coming in. Uh, lovers showing up. Wish fulfillments. This is a highly trans... You're going through a massive transformation. You've been going through the death. Okay, so you've been going through like ego death. You've been going through death cycles, okay? Um, for however long, okay? And now you're in like the rebirth energy. The rebirth is now here. This is massive transformation. Okay, so everything is transforming for you at this time, Aquarius. Okay, and I'm just like, it's like, have, have your heart open. Again, that's why it's so important to make sure your energy is grounded, you know, that you're doing things from the heart, you're self-loving, self-caring, having fun, enjoying life, keeping that vibration high, not being too serious, not being all worrisome about tomorrow or next week. Like, da 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 da, -da. You know, you guys get what I'm saying here. Okay. This is a highly transformational time. This is a highly transformational love. Also, what I'm getting is if this is a past person. They're, they've, they've been going through some stuff here, okay? Because they, they are now a king. They are coming in in a different vibration, a higher vibration. Um, I'm hearing death brings life. Death to the old ways. That's what I'm hearing. Death to the old ways. Yep. Look at Exactly. Exactly. Holy shit. You guys got the lovers and the two of cups. Okay, like, I mean, this could be a twin flame or just a very beautiful past life uh, uh, soulmate connection that is highly intense, probably very activating. It just flows. It just flows. This is what you've called in. I'm hearing finally. So someone's probably thinking that. <laughs> I just like, I just like heard you like think that. Like, finally, you know what I mean? Like, geez, it's been so long, you know? It feels like I've been, like, in the death right for so long, you know? It, this is coming together with someone. This is coming together with someone. Let's say you're in a relationship, right? Well, the same thing kind of, it, the same thing applies except, right? It's like, um, be, like, maybe you've been going through healing and, like, maybe your person is leveling up and then maybe there's a breakthrough that happens and it's highly transformative and it strengthens the bonds here. Okay, but I, I think, right, for the most of you guys and the way that it's coming through is, you know, for my singles out there, right? Like, this is, this is that. So this is love. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right? That So this is love song from Cinderella. Um, what's her name? Eileen Woods, I believe. Um, it's a really old song, obviously. Um, so this is what makes life divine. Right? Okay. Um, all right. So what do I want to end this message with? So anyways, guys, this is what I've got for you. Um, I recorded your reading actually a few days ago and the, uh, sound was all crackly. So I was like, I'm just going to re-record it, do a new, do a new reading. Um, so hopefully, uh, I recorded yesterday and everything was fine. So it's just the energy. It's just weird stuff, bizarre things, crazy stuff. It just keeps happening. It's just like, okay, you know, at this point in my life, in my journey, like nothing surprises me. I just go with the flow. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, all right, here we go again. Okay. 
Um, the birds. Okay, so birds could be speaking to you. Pay attention to like the bird activity around you. Colors of the birds, you know, bluebirds could be significant for some of you guys. It's communication. Communication, someone who's very chatty, someone who wants to talk, discuss something. It also says making contact, a text or a call. And this is confirming what I was picking up on earlier, remember? And I was like, there's someone trying to like figure out like how to show up because this is how they want to show up. And it's genuine. It's genuine. It's not like love balmy, gaslighty, like, you know, Prince Charming comes in and says all the right things and then bam is gone. Okay. You're, you, you've ascended beyond that stuff. Now keep in mind what I also said about last minute lessons. So you have to really use your spidey senses, your intuition, your discernment, right? Universe is testing us before this comes in before we can receive this. Maybe you've been already getting the tests. Maybe they happen right now. I don't know. It's gonna be different for everyone, right? But that's what I've got. Holy shit balls, you guys. I just looked at the bottom of the deck. I was gonna start shuffling. There it is. You have the lovers, the two of cups, and now the twin flame card. So it's obviously not gonna be a twin flame for everyone here, right? But it's your divine partner. It's divine partnership. It also says soulmate. Yin to the yang, baby, awakening, your other self, heart chakra activation, reflection, mirror, balancing masculine and feminine energies. That's what you've been doing. That's why this can now manifest, okay? Because you had to balance, you had to heal, you had to raise your vibration, you had to reach a certain frequency to be on the frequency timeline or the fre right, right frequency and timeline to receive this divine partnership. Wow. Congratulations, you guys. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, um, let's just get one more. Um, holy, I can't, you guys. I can't, I can't, I can't. I'm done. I'm done. The swans. Okay, so swans are going to be significant for a lot of you guys. You're seeing swans or you're going to start seeing the swans. It is soulmate. Literally, the twin flame. Look, I can't. Like, what is happening here? You guys, like, this reading is wild. Soulmate, twin flame, twin flame, lovers, two of cups, like what? Also rainbows, rainbows. If you're seeing rainbows, I mean, it could even be as simple as you're watering. This happens all the time. That's why I'm using this example. You're like you're, you're, you've got your sprinklers on or you're watering your grass or something, right? And then the sun catches the water and then you see a rainbow in the, in the water. Okay. It's, it's a sign. Okay. This is a sign here. Holy, whoa, holy Moses. Okay, Aquarius, the one, a pair of things, deep soul connection, blooming love, faith. We'll sleep it there. Okay, so, oh my God. Okay, like I can't even, I think I'm just gonna, in the title, you guys will know, I won't know yet, but I think in the title, I'm just gonna say the lovers, the two of cups, the knight of cups, communication. Okay, something like that. This is wild, okay. So this is what I've got for you, my loves. Congratulations um, for whoever this is for. Definitely claim the, claim the message, right? Like this is my reading, right? Um, by liking, you know, share in the comments below, like how this connects with you. I love connecting with you guys in the comment section. If you guys want to work with me one-on-one, -on -one, you can find the information all in the description box below. I offer several different types of um, spiritual services, readings, um, all the things, guys, right? Because I'm not just a tarot reader, right? I'm a psychic medium and a high priestess. So anyways, my loves, I love you so much. Congratulations. Keep on going. Um, again, remember what I said, you know, really important to make sure we're, we're doing breath work. Meditation is going to be a lifesaver for so many of us, if you, especially if you resonate as light worker starseed. Okay. Cause the energy is not stopping. It's going to keep on coming. So we have to, um, we have to be the ones to be spiritually responsible with our energy and all the things, right? And uh, and 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 integrate that, right? Start learning more of like that integration and all the things, breath work, uh, movement, dancing, yoga, you know, stretching, um, going out in nature, connecting to nature, uh, all that, all that, right? So anyways, loves, have a beautiful day and I will see you soon. Bye.